So prosecutors at Harvey Weinstein's rape case have now delivered their closing argument. It's the final word that the jurors are going to hear from either of the parties in this case. And prosecutor Joan Aluzi Orban spent about three hours on Friday recounting the allegations against Harvey Weinstein and really working to uh, connect threads, commonalities between the various allegations. Uh, she talked about how Harvey Weinstein was alleged to have uh, raped an actress by the name of Annabella Sciorra in 1993 or 1993. And she said a lot of the same tactics that he is alleged to have used in that incident carried over to other incidents, including the ones that he's on trial for at this courthouse. Some of the differences she also highlighted, and those were that Annabelle Scura was an established actress, a star on the rise in Hollywood. But the five other women that testified, they were nobodies. They were aspiring actresses or people aspiring to do other things in the entertainment industry. And prosecutor Joan Luzi Orban said they were, to Harvey Weinstein, complete disposables. And what that means, she said, was that she, he didn't have to deal with them again in his world, his orbit. He'd have to deal with the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow, Uma Thurman, Salma Hayek some of the other big names that have come up in this case. But he didn't have to deal with Mimi Halle and the woman that's accusing him of rape and some of the other supporting witnesses that came into court. Uh, and so for this, she set up this dichotomy where he was the all-powerful uh, king of his own universe and that these women who were trying to get ahead in Hollywood relied on him for uh, professional help and that he uh, indulged that. He lured them in by promising movie roles and auditions. And then when they got there, that's when he turned things more sexual uh, and increasingly sexual to the point where one woman he's charged with forcing oral sex on, the other woman he's charged with raping at a Midtown Manhattan hotel. Next up, first, the jurors are home and all the parties are home for a long weekend. President's Day is a holiday on Monday, so court is closed. But then on Tuesday, they get right back at it. The judge will instruct the jurors on the law, and then jurors will be sent to deliberate. And it's anybody's guess at how long it will take them to deliberate this case. There are five charges pending against Harvey Weinstein. Uh, several involving the alleged rape, another involving the alleged forcible oral uh, sex, and then there are two counts that allege that he is a sexual predator, uh, that the Annabella Sciorra episode was one of uh, at least two that happened over many years. Uh, of course, we've heard um, dozens and dozens of women come forward since October of 2017 to allege that Harvey Weinstein harassed them, assaulted them, did something of sexual misconduct toward them. This case focuses on two accusers plus Annabella Sciorra, and she ties in to that predatory sexual assault uh, charge, and that's the one that could put Harvey Weinstein in prison for the rest of his life because it carries the heftiest sentence of all of them.